Thank you for joining us as we celebrate students from the SUNY Empire School of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Our first celebratory message comes from former SUNY Empire president and current SUNY Chancellor, Jim Malatras. To the graduating class of 2021, today we celebrate over 90,000 graduating SUNY students. I know this is not how you expected your final semester to have gone. Since March of last year, as the world went into quarantine and we began a new normal of social distancing and masking up, you had to adapt to the uncertainties of what was to come to juggle new responsibilities, all while continuing on the path of completing your education. In the face of a global health crisis, you persevered. Whether it was making the transition to online learning, having to move back home to continue your studies, or not being able to be with your friends, teammates, and a favorite faculty and staff member. And despite it all, many of you stepped up to help out your campuses on the front lines with their COVID-19 efforts, from volunteering with testing, to administering vaccines, to providing academic support to those struggling with remote learning. You made sure that your communities were being taken care of. That is who SUNY is. That's who you are. You also created art, conducted research, and found your passions. You did it all, and I know it hasn't been easy. But today we celebrate your hard-earned and well-deserved degree. Although many of our campuses are unable to celebrate this important milestone with you, with all the pop and circumstance that you deserve, let it be known that we are all so proud of the class of 2021. The grit and determination you have shown to complete your studies, no matter the obstacles thrown in your way. You are to be admired, lauded, and always remembered. I'll cherish the opportunities I've had this year to meet so many of you, both in person and virtually, and to hear your inspiring stories. Like Madison Cunningham, who I met at my visit to Corning Community College, who is creating a toy for children with sensory processing disorders using 3D printing, and volunteers her time at the local hospital. Or Ilion Alexandre, a first-generation U Albany student and a recipient of the Norman R. McConney Jr. Award for Student Excellence, who hopes to continue on to medical school and work in emergency medicine. And Ramatu Muhammad, a SUNY Potsdam International Studies major and diversity ambassador who will be continuing her studies at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. Or Jacob Eckhaus from Binghamton University, who through the Student Voices Action Committee helped create the Food Pantry Refrigeration Grant Program for all SUNY campuses. Or Kaylee Hosrath of SUNY Geneseo, who stepped up as a student volunteer using her training as an operations chief for Geneseo First Response EMT Service when all students had to be tested before leaving for Thanksgiving break. And Darian Hunt from Farmingdale State College, who recently received the inaugural Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence for being a champion of racial justice and equity on his campus. An Omar guy who grew up in Gambia and who is now completing his studies at Sullivan. As you all look toward the future, know that your SUNY education has prepared you to succeed in whatever you put your mind to, whether it be furthering your education or joining the workforce. You and your fellow graduates will continue the SUNY legacy of leaving a positive impact on your communities, always striving to solve for our world's most pressing problems and being stewards of excellence and innovation. As the newest members of the three million strong SUNY alumni family, I wish you luck as you start this exciting next chapter in your life. And I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. I know you will do great things. Congratulations. Thank you, Chancellor Malatras. Now I'm honored to introduce our provost, Meg Benke. Good afternoon. I am Meg Benke, provost and executive vice president for academic affairs. I am delighted to welcome you on behalf of our faculty and staff who are joining us today to celebrate your accomplishments. It has been a challenging year for you, but through the hardships, trials, and tribulations, you have emerged stronger, more resilient, and have achieved your goal of a college degree. As we celebrate our 50th year as a college, we reflect on our unique past and position ourselves for the future of higher education. As a college, we are a unique community 
not just a community of learners, but as advocates for social, racial, and economic justice. 50 years ago, then SUNY Chancellor Ernest Boyer envisioned a college that would seek to transcend conventional academic structures and welcome individuals of all ages throughout society according to their own lifestyles and their own educational needs. We continue Boyer's vision by welcoming learners from all backgrounds, abilities, and ages. This year, we also celebrate two new distinguished professors in our ranks, Elaine Handley and Ian Refwitz. These two faculty were selected by the SUNY system as outstanding leaders in the areas of teaching and scholarship. This rare distinction brings not only prominence to our college and our faculty, but also to those students whom they serve. Education lifts up not only you, the student, but your family and the greater community as well. You are now a role model for your partners, children, and an aspiration for your colleagues. We are proud of those who have received honors designations this year, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. Congratulations for achieving academic excellence. I would also like to acknowledge and congratulate our 2021 SUNY Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence recipients. Lisa Rockelson graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Interdisciplinary Studies, Planning, Design, and Management. Lisa is a dedicated leader engaged in helping bring SUNY Empire students together through her role as Interim Vice President of the newly formed Student Government Association. Lisa is also an active member of several SUNY Empire committees. And Ronald Freeman, a lifelong New Yorker who has attended many prestigious schools, such as the Trinity School, Brooklyn Tech High School, and now SUNY Empire State College. He graduated with his Bachelor of Science degree in Educational Studies this past fall and is currently enrolled in our School for Graduate Studies in our Social and Public Policy program. Ronald is passionate about New York City's educational system and hopes to be a force for change in a post-COVID world. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, and members of our entire college community, I wish to convey our warmest congratulations. Congratulations to the SUNY Empire State College Class of 2021. Thank you, Provost Spanky. And now I'm pleased to welcome the Dean of the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Frank Vandervall. Good afternoon, and congratulations to you, the SUNY Empire State College Class of 2021. I'm Frank Vandervall, Dean of the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences, and it's an honor to celebrate your commencement with you today. Like many of you, I wish we could have gathered together in a traditional commencement ceremony to acknowledge your accomplishments and perseverance. You have the incredibly unique challenge of earning your degree during a global pandemic. You had to change the way you communicate, learn, and live. What's more, so many of you volunteered your time throughout the pandemic, offering comfort to others, sewing masks, donating to food banks, and more, all while studying and keeping yourself and your families safe. Your dedication and perseverance have inspired all of us during these unprecedented times. Our School of Social and Behavioral Sciences graduates represent the very best of Empire State College, and will need your collective and individual knowledge, skills, and leadership as we continue to navigate and ultimately recover from this crisis. Now we will recognize each degree candidate from the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences. On behalf of SUNY Empire State College, I extend a heartfelt congratulations to all of you.
and congratulations once again to the class of 2021. Well, we here at SUNY Empire State College are also proud of the many military-aligned students that comprise the class of 2021. We thank you for your service. Here to offer congratulations is Desiree Drindak, SUNY Empire's Director of Veteran and Military Education. Hello, I'm Desiree Drindak, the Director of Veteran and Military Education at SUNY Empire State College. As we continue to celebrate our 50th anniversary and the 50th year of supporting our military families, the college community and the Office of Veteran and Military Education would like to congratulate our active duty, guard, reserve, veteran, and our military family members on your academic success and degree completion. We honor your commitment and dedication to your studies, your families, and our country. Thank you and congratulations.
Well, the graduates, wherever you are, please rise. Under the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York, and upon the recommendation of the faculty of the State University of New York's Empire State College, I hereby confer upon each of you the certificate, associate, bachelor's, and master's degree which you have earned and to which you are entitled, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Class of 2021, if you have them, you may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations to the SUNY Empire State College. Class of 2021. Hats off and hooray.